what up facebook it's your boy chance um i'm actually back from being banned from doing live streams um this whole last week's been super hectic so give me just a minute here to invite some people and we'll get this stuff started Now, I do have some new music for you guys today. Uh, some of it's some of my older stuff. And some of it's some new classical pieces that I've done. If you hear me sniffling, I do apologize. I do have a bit of a mm, stuffed up nose. You guys know how it is with allergy season, man. It sucks. Like, even though I don't have allergies, like the humidity and the heat, it, it screws with me. It sucks. Hey, yo. Young Fox in the building. What's up, bro? Jeremy, what's good, man? Cherise, what's up? Um, but, um, there are a couple issues that I would like to address before we get this started. And that's some of the stuff I've been seeing on my Facebook and just on social media in general, like, these last few days, like, some of the stuff you guys were saying, like, not you guys watching, but I've been noticing comments from random people on my statuses, you know, talking a bunch of crap. And honestly, I'm getting sick of it, dude. Like, you know. Like, the other day when I made that status about, you know not having the business or marketing experience and how it's actually hard for me to learn that stuff. Like, it's completely true, you know? Like, it's honestly, it's ridiculous. Like, I can't hope that I wasn't taught that stuff in school. Yeah, for some of you, it might seem like I'm making an excuse, but really I'm not. Because think about it, man. If I had the marketing experience that you guys are getting now in these days in schools, I'd be able to market my own shit. I would know how to do the stuff that I do, plus marketing it in the proper way. Like, I've looked on YouTube, I still just am just, like, confused. Like, I was never taught how to, you know, do business the proper way. Granted, I do have a good business strategy that a lot of companies hate me for. Like, as you guys know, I recently tried getting published for my poetry work through Dorrance Publishing. You know, great guys overall. Like, not tearing them down about that at all. Like, if you guys, you know, want to go through Dorn's Publishing and waste your money for over $100, you know, that's on you. And if you got the money to do it, that's great. But if you ask me, Dorn's Publishing is a ripoff. Like, it really is. Like, granted, the guy was cool as shit that I spoke to. He was really nice. You know, don't get me wrong. But... My issue with getting my stuff published is a lot of people think that, oh, you know, like you have to pay so much money and this and that. But I found out from a friend who has been published on Amazon, number one, for many years now that publishing companies want you to pay. Like you're not actually supposed to pay for publishing. That's just what a lot of companies do. They make you pay 
an insane amount of money when really you're su you're really supposed to be getting your stuff published for free and then whatever you make they take a little bit of a percentage from that and it's gotten backwards and it's the same way with record labels I actually have a very good friend of mine who just recently got signed and you know he's making trying to make that change You know, he's trying to change it around to where people like me can get signed for free and to be able to say, hey, you know, however much I make or however much I make in sales, you guys can take this much of a percentage, which it's a fair deal. But, you know, when I addressed Dorrance Publishing with this idea I told them, hey, look, you know, however much I'm making sales, you know, you guys can take 20, 30 percent of that and use that towards, you know, the publishing, the editing, all that. But they didn't like it, so they wound up dropping it. Hence, I am back on self-publishing, going through Lulu.com, which is a good website. Like, I definitely recommend them um, and everything like that. And I've just been noticing people throughout since I made that post just ripping always saying, oh, that's no excuse and da da da, -da. Well, for me, it kind of is. Like, I was never taught the proper way to market stuff. I was never taught the proper way to promote, to put the stuff out there. But I have done a little bit of, you know, research on promoting. So the promoting part I can do. But it's driving the traffic to all my stuff that is the issue. But aside from that, I do have some new music. Some of it, some of my older and stuff that a lot of you might not have heard. Um, some of it's some new stuff for you guys. So with that being said, I will play you some of the tracks right now. And keep in mind, some of these tracks that I am going to be playing you are from like um, back when I was using the Magix um, audio editor that came with some preset vocals and I just wound up making some songs out of the vocals and a couple beats. So here's the first one. This one's called, this is actually a combination of two different songs. Um, it's called um, Here It's Showtime. This is actually one of the ones I did through Magics. So I will play this for you guys and let me know what you guys think. Yo, shout out to Jordan Wiggins. What's good, bro? Two. And if you imagine, then let me holler at you. I gotta catch you. I'm past you. Came to 
to get it in. You step in the train, shoes with the senior citizens. And once the beat grab you, the feeling's intense. I got that hit, you got to keep you all in suspense. Another mystery, where will I go from here? Still too early to tell, but you can beat up prepared for anything. And that's no lie, spotlight's on you, so you know it's showtime. of change hope you feel the same way too uh-huh. post my comments what you guys say here I am with you yeah here we go here I am with you go not your everyday typical thug dropping syllables No making paper, tell them hey to see you later And catch the vapor like Biz Marky When I spark the Marley Give thanks and praise like Rastafari Sitting under palm trees, sipping on donkey Listening to all of me, let me ride that donkey I'm on key, never off it, right on target The center, no since I hopped out of the placenta Rhyme inventor, any battle I enter, I'm the winner I ask your girl what's for dinner Then I run her in the abdomen I smacked her ribs, motor boat, both hands Grabbing it, sis, I'm here for my biz Check the rollie, it's no time But six minutes, I will have six minutes to show time That was the first one, guys. Post in the comments what you guys thought about that. That was actually literally the first, you know, all, you know, preset vocal song that I actually did through Magix. So Magix, I definitely recommend it to anybody starting out. It's really good. Uh, it's definitely one of my personal favorites to go to whenever I feel like, you know, I need a break away from you know, the main stuff that I use, like FL Studios, um, audio tool and all that. It was definitely a good thing to go back to. Like, I definitely recommend it. But this next one is actually one, this is a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, this is actually a one that's in progress of being worked on. This is actually a violin piece called A New Start. So post in the comments what you guys think, man. And I definitely would like to see you guys bring some people in. And there you go, guys. That was called a new start. This one that's still in progress. Uh, I haven't quite finished that one yet. I do have some others that are a little bit longer. But, uh... Music-wise, 
I don't really have any new updates other than like some of the classical compositions and you know the few tracks of my old stuff that I am bringing back. Um, if you guys don't know, um, here on the eighth, I will be getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex for the Nintendo Wii. So I will be able to play online with that. Um, as a matter of fact, the other night when I played a full thing of Black Ops 1 online, live on my YouTube channel, I actually wound up getting like 80-something views off of it. So that was, that was awesome, man. So if you guys are in here right now and you guys did view that while I was you know, watching that while I was live, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for the views, man. Like, it definitely does mean a lot. But um, I do want to give a huge shout out to Jordan Wiggins, man. He gave me a shout out the other day, dude. And you know I'm, you know I rock your shit, dude. You know I'm down for your stuff, dude. Like it definitely is awesome to see you doing what you do, man. But um, if you guys are wondering what the post about the uh, custom IDs was about, I do have way a way of making. You know, personalized, custom, digital ID cards for, like, gaming and stuff like that. So, if you guys want, like, any, you know, personalized, you know, gaming IDs, you know, hit me up. Let me know what game it is that you want it for. Uh, let me know your, your name, your age, rank in the game, if there is a rank in that game. Um, let me know all the info. All you got to do is drop me a message. And I'll definitely set that up for you. But um, one other issue that I do have. That I think a lot of people have. Is actually with Facebook. Because I noticed that last week. With, if you guys were here and you saw it. I did that harmonica cover of various songs. That you guys loved. But yet, I got banned from doing live streams from all last week up till literally just a little bit ago. And if you guys don't know, every time I do a live stream and I do these cover shows, I'm always posting in there and saying flat out that I do not own these songs. I do not own the rights to them. They're just covers and this and that. But yeah, Facebook still busts my ass about that, and I don't get it. I really just don't get it. It's like, no matter what I do, especially when you guys enjoy it. Like, that one live stream that I did for that memorial show, that got like 3.9k views, and it's probably doubled by now. So, I mean, you know, I really think it's fucked up what they do, like, especially when you guys know that I put in there that, you know, that I don't own these songs, they belong to their respectful artists and bands, these are just covers, I am in no way trying to encroach on copyright infringement or anything like that, I'm just, you know, doing it for you guys as entertainment. Because it's what I do. I'm in. I'm a music entertainer. That's what I do. But uh, other than that, I mean, not much is going on. I mean, you know. Now, as in for the world of gaming, if you guys don't know, and if you guys do play Star Wars um, Force Arena... The tournament did just end. I wound up placing in the top 100 for that, so that was pretty cool. Um, I did get my hands on some rare cards. Uh, I actually wound up getting Luke Skywalker and Ben Kenobi, which are like two super rare cards, along with Ezra and a couple others. So thank you, Star Wars, 
for Serena, for those cards, man. I had fun doing that, man. I had a blast doing that. But uh, there are going to be some more tournaments coming up very soon. Um, when, I don't know. But I will try to get some gameplay footage of those if I can. Not making any promises, but I will try. Shout out to Matt and Corey, man. And shout out to Jordan, Devin, Aiden, Jeremy. Shout out to everybody who's watching, man. You guys are awesome. But if you guys don't know, my new album that released this year, just a few minutes ago, is still on sale. So if you guys want my official site, all you do is, I'm actually going to post it in the comments so you guys can go to it. If you guys want the album for $9.99, that's it, $9.99, no shipping, no handling, just straight up digital download of the entire album plus the album art for $9.99. Um, you guys can go to this link right here, which I am posting in the comments right now. You guys can go there to that link. Um, you guys can buy my full album of Blackout. It's there. You guys can buy it. Um, I do have some new merch up on Rajon.com underneath DK Customs. Um, so you guys can still buy merchandise from that. Now, as for promotion, promoters, street team, that kind of thing, I am looking for promoters to not only you know, promote my music, but also to promote, you know, my upcoming manga that I'm working on called Renmaru High. It's literally about this girl who is being bullied by this guy, so to speak. Like, he, he's that kind of guy that, you know, you can't really hate him, but you don't really like him. Like, he messes with her on purpose. Like, because he likes her, but he doesn't know how to, like, do that other than to, you know, make fun of her and tease her and that kind of thing. But she gets really fed up with it and winds up going off on him at one point. Well, actually, it's like right in the very beginning. Like, you can tell she hates him. But she winds up meeting this new guy, um, Junko, that is new to the school like he just got there and she later finds out that he's actually a music artist she finds out that he's actually the lead singer for um, the band that's local that she knows and she doesn't realize that he's the lead singer and you know eventually they wind up getting together and you know that kind of thing now, I will be releasing the manga through Lulu.com for you guys to buy. Um, I'm not sure on pricing yet. I still have to go in and set the price. But you guys will be able to buy physical copies. Now, for those that do promote my music, my book, my YouTube channel, basically all my social media-based stuff, I will be doing some cool giveaways for you guys. Like, whether they're free wallpapers. Um, for those that do promote my book that I am going to be releasing within, like, the next week. Instead of the next few weeks. Depending on how the program wants to work. Because right now it's being an ass and not wanting to work. Um, you guys will get a free copy of the book for digital download. I will be messaging you guys every single page for download so you guys can have it on hand to read. Um, as for my poetry, I actually went back and found some old poetry that I had written. I am going to try to publish that as well. But I'm not too worried about that as I am with the manga 
and my music that'll come the poetry will come at a later date but uh yeah i just thought i'd pop in and let you guys know what's going on um if you are interested and promoting my work and you know getting some really cool stuff you know message me say hey you know i want to promote your stuff i want to push it help get it out there you know that would be great all you gotta do is you know hit me up message me um as soon as the book is done you guys will know the day of its release uh, i'm not sure exactly when it's going to be done because as i said the program that i go through is giving me trouble so there isn't much you know that i can really do But um, I'm not exactly sure how many volumes are going to be in the series or if it's just going to be a straight up manga style chapter book or what. I haven't decided yet because I'm kind of going, you know, along as I can. You know, I'm basically like not really making it up as I go, but more or less a plan as you go kind of thing like. You know, like, okay, this person said this, so what's, like, this person is, this is how this person is going to react. So it's literally a plan as you go kind of thing. You know, you kind of plan ahead a little bit about what's going on. But the book will be released within the next week to the next couple weeks to maybe even this next month. Um, I do have a DeviantArt backup um, for my comic art and all that stuff. So I am posting my comic art again. And as I said, if you guys are interested in becoming a part of my promotion team for whatever it is, message me and I will hook you guys up with some pretty cool shit. Uh, for everybody that does promote my music, you guys will get the full album of Blackout for free download. Along with, you know, the artwork, all that stuff. And the same thing goes for my book once it's released. If you guys promote it, make sure you guys tag me when you guys push my stuff. Because I see way too many people sharing my stuff and then not tagging me. Like, that, it annoys me. Like... If you share my shit, make sure you tag me in it so I see it. Like, that way I know you guys are doing it. But like I said, you know, I just wanted to pop in, you know, address a few issues. Show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on this last week. So that, since the ban on live streaming for me. Um, I will be going live on YouTube later today. For some new gaming. Um, this time I will probably. Oh pardon me. I'm not sure exactly what game I'm going to be doing. Um, as I said on the 8th. I will be getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex. It's literally Modern Warfare 2 Reflex. It's literally redone. It's the upgraded version of it. So I am looking forward to getting that on the 8th. That's definitely going to be awesome. And so if you guys do have that, drop your gamer tag in the comments below. And I'll be sure to add you guys on there as soon as I can. And if you have Black Ops 1, drop your gamer tag and I'll add you in for sure. Um, actually, probably here later today. But um, as for my gaming channel, um, I do want to give a huge... Huge shout out to Wyatt, who's been a huge fan of my stuff for a long time now. He's been following my music, my art, uh, my gaming. So shout out to you, Wyatt. You freaking rule, dude. You're awesome. But this is a kid. Wyatt's a kid that has been following my stuff since I started out underneath the name Shadow Blade, which, as you guys know, I brought back for one final run to see how it does. 
And you guys are reacting pretty good to it, surprisingly. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, shout out to you, White. You're freaking awesome, man. Um, Music-wise, other than what I showed you guys, I don't really have much going on. Um, I did release a couple music videos and this and that, but nothing really major. But with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here. Read your guys' comments. Read your guys' messages to me. As I said, if you guys are interested in promoting my stuff, drop me a message. Let me know, and I'll send you everything as soon as I possibly can. With that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance, a.k.a. Shadowblade, or also known as Retro Gamer. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream later on today. Peace.